Hey folks, welcome to my sunny living room. I want to show you some uh, acoustic exercise today. A little piece that I wrote for my lessons. Um, and I use it quite successfully with my students. Uh, it's called the banjo blues. We only have four strings that we are playing on. So, in general, it will happen like this. Thumb plays D string, always. Thumb plays G string. So we alternate in between D G string. Index is playing the B string and middle finger is playing the E string. All the chords are only played on four strings. This is the E7 chord. Mostly like a D7 chord with the open D string as well fretted with the index. Then we have an A7 chord, just this little four string bar with the index. And then we have a B7 chord, which is this more well known B7 chord, but we don't need the fifth string, so I leave it away. Okay? I'm gonna play it first and later explain the picking pattern. sheet um, you will see the the address where to download this little sheet right down here and also in the description of the video in my youtube channel um, which will explain exactly the picking and everything uh, and you also have proper notes but let me first show you the picking again um, so what we do is first d string with a thumb then we have G string and E string together, thumb and middle finger. Then we have D string again, and B string with the index, and thumb on G string. That's the first bar. Or when I fret an E7 chord, we have Songs like, for example, Dust in the Wind from Canvas. It is D and E string together, so we have thumb and middle finger, or as I call the outside strings, because in our four string pack, this is the two outside strings together. Then the two inside strings, G and B, with thumb and index after each other. And the two outside strings, D and E, after each other and then the G string alone. So if you combine the two, two uh, patterns, first, second, rests is uh, that in our 12 bar blues form which you can see on the sheet um, there are certain chords that last only one bar but we never give up the pattern do not restart when you change the chord uh, again with bar one from our two bar picking pattern just stay in it which means for example here we have two bars of E7 as you heard it's the two different bars from the picking pattern. Then we go to A7 with the first bar of the picking pattern. And then we go back. So 
try to be completely independent of um, what you do with your left hand and just let the picking pattern run with your right hand. As here. to wish you a lot of fun with this little exercise. Stay tuned to my video blog. Have a good time with your guitar and I'm going to finish my coffee now. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>